This video covers the features and operations of the H1 Zoom audio recorder. The H1 Zoom is compact and easy to use and features onboard microphones configured in an XY pattern which provides natural depth of sound and less distortion during recording. With the H1 Zoom, you can record in either WAV or MP3 formats. Let's take a look at the controls for the H1 Zoom. On the left side of your recorder, you will see a jack and volume controls for a headset. Below that, you will see the slot for the micro SD card, which is included. Your sound recordings will be saved onto the SD card. On the back, you will see sliders that control input settings and file formats. Low cut reduces noise, and auto level controls input levels. We recommend leaving the low cut and auto level switches at on. You can record audio in either WAV or MP3 format. WAV files are uncompressed and are of higher quality, but result in larger files. MP3 files are compressed and therefore of lower quality, but are small. MP3 recordings will satisfy the needs of most users. Below the switches is a threaded connector for connecting tripods or a handle. On the right side of the recorder are the microphone jack and volume controls. Near the bottom of the recorder you will find the power switch. To power on the recorder, slide this button towards the bottom and hold for a second. Slide again and hold to turn the recorder off. You can set this slider to hold during operation, which ensures that the settings will not change recording. In between the microphone jack and the power, are the playback controls, as well as a button to delete files. Press play here to play the latest recorded file. Press the arrow keys to scroll through files and press play to listen to them. Press play during playback to pause and once again to resume play. If you desire, you can add track marks to your files by pressing the mark button here during recording. Marks can help you identify areas of your recording that are important to you. This is useful for review and for editing. It is important to know that this feature can only be used while working with WAV files. At the very bottom of the right side is the USB cable input, which you will use to connect to a computer. Finally, on the front of the recorder, you will find the display screen and the record button. To record, turn on the unit and point the microphones at the audio source. Press the button here. Recording begins immediately. To stop recording, press the button again. Each time you start and stop the recording, a new sound file will be saved to the SD card. Connecting to a computer. To get your sound files onto a computer for use with software like Audacity, start with the recorder turned off. Attach the USB cable to the recorder and to the computer. The recorder display will flash audio, card, and eventually stop at USB. At this point, the recorder can be treated like any other drive. In Windows, look for H1 underscore SD under Computer. On a Mac, look for HD SD in a Finder window under Devices. Click on the icon to open. Go into the file labeled Stereo and then go into Folder 01. Using drag and drop or copy and paste, simply put the files onto the computer. Make sure to eject the device before unplugging it. As with any USB drive, failure to do so may result in corrupted files.